Good evening. Tonight, I just wanted to share um, something from 2 Corinthians 2, verses 10 and 11. Paul says to the church in Corinthians, he says, Anyone whom you forgive, I also forgive. And indeed, what I have forgiven, if I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake in the presence of Christ so that we would not be outwitted by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So that we would not be outwitted by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his designs. And I just wanted to share, you know, Satan, his weapon is against us in the church and in the body. In this, in this, it's kind of like where, where he talks about forgiving, um, forgiving others for restoring them after they fall and, and just seeing how Satan, Satan's design and being not ignorant of his devices because his devices and his design is to separate and, and isolate people. And get us away from each other. And through bitterness and strife and malicious. <laughs> just thinking maliciously about other people. Whispering things in your mind. Causing you to doubt other people's character and, and question. And getting you angry about what someone else does. And it's just. He's slick. You know and. But we have to recognize, we have to test our heart and see how it is that we're feeling about someone else. If we're, if we're wanting to cut them off and just be done with them and not deal with them and, and have unforgiveness in our heart towards them, then we should see and know that that's not how God has ordained it to be. He wants us to forgive as we have been forgiven. And even if someone doesn't turn to the Lord and do the right thing, we still can't mm -hmm. allow ourselves to be bitter towards them. So I just want to share that today. Let's, let's know that Satan's design is to turn us against each other and to isolate us from one another um, through whispering things in our ear to make us doubt other people's character and other people's intentions to just make us doubt trust in, in other people um, which are in the body, in Christ, who profess him. So let's not listen to Satan today. Let's not be outwitted by him. Amen.